Where am I? Oh no, building 45 at Googleplex. And how did I get here? Gosh, you tell me. You just came here and started speaking. And what are we doing again? Good gravy. Presenting Google Play Services 7.3. Get to work. That's right! Welcome to release 7.3 of Google Play Services. And as usual, we packed it with lots of new features that will allow you to build better apps, because that's what this is all about. And big announcements for Wear is that you can now connect multiple wearables to a phone. Let's check that out. I can't decide which wearable I'm going to wear today. I kind of like that black one. But that one is better if I'm going jogging. Heck, I can't decide. They're all so nice. Hot dog! Since I have Google Play Services 7.3 installed, I can wear them all at the same time! So this capability allows you to create a network of wearable nodes, all connected to a single phone. And since there can be more than two nodes, we are introducing the Channel API in the Wear Data API, which allows you to send large files or even stream data between two individual nodes. But how would you know which node you should communicate with, for example, if you wanted to download something? That's the job of the new Capability API, which allows your app to locate nodes supporting a given capability. Over to the many new things in Google Fit. Many things in life are not based on a daily cycle. For example, the work week, the tax year, or a new year. Fitness, however, is all about today. Like. How many steps have you taken today? How many calories have you put in your body today? How many push-ups have you done today? So to make these today things easier, the History API now provides this method, read daily total, which aggregates data for a given data type from midnight to the current time of day. So you just put in the data type there, and then it returns the daily total. For example, how many steps have I taken today? And since everyone's always talking about how many steps everyone's taken every day, the type step count delta data type can now be queried by all apps on all devices without requiring any authentication. But fitness is not only about activity. It is also about what you put into the body. So therefore, Nutrition data types have been added, enabling you to record things like protein, fat, cholesterol, sodium, you name it. Turning to location, where you now specify a maximum wait time for location updates, which enables the system to batch location updates together to reduce battery consumption. And remember the location settings dialog we introduced in the last release? Well, in addition to location updates, it is now also possible to get notified when location settings are changing by getting location availability updates. This release also has enhancement to the common package where Google API client now allows you to add optional APIs through the Add API if available. So if you previously had to have multiple connections flow for the phone and the wearable, for example, you can now use this feature to simplify your code. And that's it for this time. But check out these resources to get the details. And remember, Google Play Services enables you to build better apps. And now it's your turn to go out there and create these great apps. And don't forget to tell us all about it.